I, I was working in France uh, uh, in the graveyard. Uh, graveyard? Oh. Yeah. Really? What were you doing? In no, the no, grave. I grave. said graveyard. No, in no, the grave. The oh, great <laughs> graveyard. Yeah. 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 The graveyard. The graveyard. Oh, it's big and tall. You said you more of a You started doing a beer. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got sick of my job digging <laughs> graves, so I said, let's get uh, drunk. In, in the grave. Work. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all a brew heads? Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and I'm Scott Beer Cole, Beer Enthusiast. Welcome to episode 87 of Beer Nuts the Podcast. And we are here in Notre Dame de Prairie, yeah. Quebec, with Mike and Laura. Oh, not you, Laura. Master Bro. I said you, Laura. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it right. You were right. Hey, Laura. Hey, Laura. Okay. See, I got it. I got it. You got Master Bro and owner and head brewer of Maltstrom. Guys, thank you so much for having us. Nice. Thank you, too. It's a real pleasure. pleasure for yes. This is so good. I've been yeah. a fan of your beers now. I found out this morning, I was saying earlier, that uh, I was drinking the India Session Lager, which you just ran out of, mm. a year ago today. So I've been uh, following you guys for about a year. Um, I was I'm telling Scott and Tiff on the way. I was very excited to be speaking to you guys. I'm a huge, huge fan of what you do. Oh, um, yeah, thanks. So we very much <laughs> it. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, this is a, it was a beautiful drive up here. This is, what are we, about an hour from Montreal? Yeah, maybe something like that, yeah. An hour east, yeah. Yeah. 45 minutes from Montreal. 45? It depends. Yeah. Uh, it depends, uh, depends how you drive. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's like 30 minutes. It's a nice yeah. day. So <laughs> I think it's 25 minutes, yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk about a lot today. So let's start with what we're drinking. What do we have here? Ladies here today? is our farmer's, uh, farmhouse uh, saison. A, saison, yeah. yeah. Hoppy Blanche. It's a Hoppy Blanche. is a bit uh, a tricky kind of a uh, mix between uh, Ger- um, no, not German, <laughs> um, Belgian Blanche. Yep. But the, the green bill is uh, mostly uh, from a Belgian Blanche, mm-hmm. and we had a uh, uh, yeast from Saison. Okay. Mm-hmm. And after that, uh, we dry hop looks like a uh, white IPA. Yeah. But mostly okay. with a hybrid. It's really hybrid. <laughs> All the kind of beer yeah. mixed together. Yeah, and the hops are coming mostly from New Zealand, so it oh, yeah? gives it a yeah. l- little bit of a, that tropical taste. What hops are they? Uh, it's uh, Wakatu Waiti. Wakatu Waiti, Matueka. And a bit of citron mosaic. Wow. Yeah. To get an uh, uh, American base. Yeah. It's uh, definitely a definition of hoppy, say, uh, hoppy blanche. Is like Citra it. is like a salt and pepper yes. in the kitchen. You can put it in any <laughs> beer. Literally, it's, you have to yeah. use it. Yeah. yeah. If you don't use it, it's a problem. Maybe no, sometimes. <laughs> yes, or sometimes not. Sometimes it's Maybe not good in a stout or, or a... Order. A citrus stout it could be ruined. You probably yeah, actually. Exactly. Do you know what? I take that back. Yeah. A citrus stout could be delicious. <laughs> it's depends <laughs> what you want to yeah. make. That's true. It's all is in the head. But for the most part, let's be honest. To... Anything with a bunch yeah, of citrus brew, it's going to be. We could brew like a citra like a citrus lager stout. Could be really interesting. <laughs> lager stout. A lager no, stout. Well, well, they did the peche. In the yeah. shade. A lager yeah. stout. Yeah. 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 I don't know what that means though. Like what? Would a lot? I guess it's just you take. I guess you take. You put it through the lot, like lagering process. Yeast, yeah, and li- lager. I don't know what that means. You're gonna have to make one for us so we can figure <laughs> it out. That, yeah. That's the collab. Citra lager stout. Maybe <laughs> think about that later. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about your beer histories. Uh, how did you guys get into brewing? You can take in turns, but like, how did you get into beer? How did you start brewing? And then we'll talk about the this incredible establishment that we're sitting in. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I was working like in uh, I, I was working in France uh, uh, in the graveyard. Uh, the graveyard? Oh. Yeah. Really? What were you doing? No, no, grave. I grave. said graveyard. No, no, grave. The oh, grave. Grave. <laughs> grave. <laughs> graveyard. Oh, the graveyard. The graveyard. Oh, I was yeah, thinking like, Tom. You said you more of a grave. You started like, drinking yeah, beer. Yeah, beer. yeah. yeah. I got sick of my job digging <laughs> graves, so I said, let's get uh, drunk. In, in the grave. Sorry. <laughs> my English, sorry. No, 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 no it's no. my. Um, I mean, it is Australian, not your French. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, in, in 1998 and 1999, uh, I just 
come to Quebec with uh, the project to, to maybe start uh, like um, a, a place to, to, to brew something, but uh, I, I mostly found that in Quebec it was impossible to to to, to like uh, with the wine with, to, to to make some wines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Just the, the, the climax, the, the like climax. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. it's more for potatoes than for grapes. <laughs> <laughs> but a nice uh, ice wine. Yes, yeah, yeah, oh, right, because it's yeah. cold, right. And I just Makes met uh, the the first brewer of, uh, and the first owner from uh, Alchemist. Oh yeah, he is uh, who is a, a really nice guy. The Alchemist was a uh, it was found in uh, 2001, something like that. And I, I was the first brewer of the Alchem uh, Alchemist, not the Alch not the Alchemist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So they're one of the oldest breweries in Quebec, is that right? It's, it's, it's one, of, one the, of the oldest. Yeah. Ones. And uh, <clears throat> I worked for them uh, for 10 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Until it was a As, as a brewer there? Or? Uh, as a master brewer. As the master brewer, okay. Yeah, as nice. a master brewer. Did you go to school for that, or did you just get the job? No, I, you, uh, I just, no? I never so went to school. I'm a baseman. I'm a bass player. Right. Yeah. You, uh, you look like a baseman. That explains a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, much. Yeah. So did, many things. Did you... Um, did you, were you a home brewer at all? No, never. Okay. I brew some batches uh, at my home, <laughs> but uh, the, the floor was so dirty that my wife just told me, you know, hey, stop like, that, stop <laughs> that, stop that. <laughs> More of it's fair enough. enough. Yeah. Uh -oh. But I, <clears throat> no, I, I worked for them for 10 years, and after that, uh, I was uh, due to, to, to do something else. Uh, I was a consultant for uh, some customers. <laughs> <laughs> You can, you can, yeah, go ahead, do your yeah. thing, jump off, and we can keep, we'll keep it, we'll yeah, keep, yeah, it keep, keep it running, keep it running. Yeah, we, want, we want the real experience of uh, what it's um, like being here. I want to know, sorry, is, yes. when you're in France, you're working on the Great Were yeah, you a yeah. uh, winemaker, or were you just... Uh, it's, it was mostly the, the, the grape picking, right. but after that, I, I work in the farm for, uh, for a couple of weeks or more with uh, one of my old friends. Uh, so you had some brewing experience with the wine. It was not before. really experience, right. but it was You're really a taste. To it. Uh, I right. was exposed to it, right. and it was really to, it. It, it gave me the taste of uh, doing something right. with alcohol and fermentation. Yeah, fermentation, and, 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 uh, and uh, I just I just saw that it was possible to have a little, a, a really small business, mm -hmm. um, and to make your your own alcoholish thing. Right. So how did you get hired? At the Alchemist, right, with no brewing experience. <laughs> I guess it was 2003, so yeah. it was like a different time. No, yeah, it was a really different time. The market was really different from now. After that, I worked like a consultant, like uh, in a couple of breweries, mostly in like uh, Gainsborough at Ulm. Uh, it was a really nice job. I really liked that, but it was not like running my. My real brewery, my, my brewery. Yeah, sometimes like you were working for someone, but now you're yeah. kind of your, so after 10 okay. years, you're exactly, like, I want yeah. my place. And I've got a, a lot of ideas of which kind of beer that I wanted to brew. I like really lagers because in, in the Alchemist, I brew a lot of lagers uh, in the past. So <clears throat> it was always, it's always been my idea to, to mix like the lager base mm -hmm. with an IEPA top. Right. right. So you get the best of both worlds. Kind yeah, of base of both yeah. worlds because I like the drinkability of the lagers, right. but I like the, the hoppy style of the, of the, um, the IPAs. The IPAs. Yeah. But I found that in the past years, most of the IPAs was a bit like heavy. Like I drink uh, I drink two or three or four or five bottles and as I'm not kind of angry anymore. Yeah. Um, okay, sick. So then just before we get to how Monstrum started, so let's get in Laura's history, then we'll tie it all together. Yep. So, how did, you, <laughs> so, so cool. uh, how did you get into beer and how did you get into brewing? Oh, uh, I was cook before. Oh, okay. And like was cooking four years and I like to eat and I like to make some mm -hmm. supper, dinner, dish, mm -hmm. whatever. And when I work in the restaurant, I like to some cook, but I doesn't like the, the stress 
the uh, you don't make the, the 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 food for the people you love and enjoy it with the people. Right. So I just like I like food. I like eat, but maybe I don't like to right prepare cook and... to nobody. Right. <laughs> so I just oh, okay. Maybe I don't like it, but I have some good experience. I work to Clement, France, and I enjoy it. I travel. But I'm just, oh, I'm tired to do this. So it's not the, it's not the, the work I like to do. Okay. So I work for my parents in the greenhouse, and my brother talked me about the houblon, mm-hmm. the hopes, oh. and he's like, oh, she's, he, he say, yeah, yeah. that's he. Doesn't yeah, he's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's still a boy. Yeah, he's, he's still a boy. Still a boy. Yeah. Yeah. So, It's really he, complicated. He yeah. told me about how, so I said, like, "Oh, that can be a good idea to, to put the grow gross, yeah. in the greenhouse." So I'm really impulsive, impulsive, yeah. impulsive, yeah. impulsive yeah. girl. Yeah. So I just no. I have some idea, yeah. I just yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't go, I don't go back, don't see back, and I just go in front of mm-hmm. me, and I say, "Okay, go." I go take my uh, private course in the um, brewery. Brewer? Brewer. Yeah. Brewer. Oh, nice. brewer. brewer, yeah. Because yeah. in my mind I say if I want to grow nice ups, I need to know what the brewer what they need, what, right. they want what they want, they needs want right. to put in the beer. Yep. Right. So that start like this my process to okay. be a brewer. I don't think I've ever heard that story where someone started growing, growing hops, hops to get yeah. into beer. That's a very unique story. So, Got into like, beer so they could sell it. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Exactly. So, funniest things that She was she was came, just came in to, to, to put our her CV, you know? And uh, she she just told me, Yeah, I'm searching for maybe a place to brew and yeah. I'm searching for like a what you say, a guru. Guru, a guru. <laughs> <laughs> to, 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 to teach, show me. To, oh, right, to right, teach right, me right. how to brew. Now you're here from Because but but when I, I hear in here yeah. his story in Almost never brew before to be right. engaged no, right. in never. the brewery. Right. brewery. Yeah, the brewery just and takes some passion. And exactly, stuff, right? and it's the same. Yeah, it's uh, a bit the same thing. Yeah, the same. Shemitment. Like puff. Puff. Shemitment is puff. Shemitment. No, the, 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 the same way. The same way we right. started brew. They started the same way right. without exactly. really any experience. I, I exactly. brew at home, but yeah. the only taster was my mother and my father. <laughs> and all, all I make it was good for my father and right. my mother. Right, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it gets me drunk. So. Okay. The first time I, I, I brew beer, it was blueberry, coconut, rosemary. Wow, that sounds amazing. That's, yeah. <laughs> was it good? Yeah, yeah, for my father and my mother. Oh, right. <laughs> so. uh, rosemary was a bit too, a bit too much. Yeah, a bit too yeah. much. Like blueberry coconut. That sounds great. <laughs> That's a question for later, actually. Yeah. Lightning round. Yeah. <laughs> But, okay. uh, maybe I can divulgate a secret. Uh, <laughs> But camera? yeah. Okay. We'll talk about it. No. We'll talk about it again. Okay. So no. So I start like this, and I just got my mother see the article in the La Presse. Yep. And say. Uh, Because my mother is going, oh, she wants to become a brewer. So like, oh, what's going on with this daughter? Like, what? And yes, she to be just, a cowboy. <laughs> she says, oh, we, see, we, we got um, a brew, brew, brewery, a new a brewery. brewery mm-hmm. in the NDP. So just go there. And go put your CV in every way. Work, my yeah. daughter, work. <laughs> so I said, okay. So I just come here and put my CV with my motivation. And, uh, and this is we got. I think we got the click. Okay, you just work. I think we got the click. It just works. Right. So let, let's just step back to the, how did the brewery start? So I just uh, wanted to have my own brewery to, to explore my the, the ideas. Um, Even in the beers, in the beer stuff, that uh, in the way, in the way to own the uh, to own the brewery, to own a business, to run a business, I found my my partners, you know, like you know, such a bit funny way, but <clears throat> uh, we just met uh, together in a, another project, right. and the the, the, the click, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the click was there, yeah, the click was there. 
which is but, smart. And, and uh, unfortunately, this this project just fell down. But uh, we, we keep in touch together. And uh, when uh, when I, f- I, I first wanted to, to, to do the the, the milestone project that they were just called present, it's re- it's really. Um, I, I was really happy about that because one of my partners just designed all the labels. He, nice. He's a French guy from okay. France. Right, right. Mm-hmm. It's not his fault. <laughs> <laughs> Salut, Oops, <Jean-Denis. laughs> He's got a marketing house and he's working mostly in a, like a wine and a, like a, con- a Armagnac uh, nice. with a, cha- a champagne. And uh, he designed a lot of really beautiful labels yeah. and be beautiful. All the, I don't know how to say that in, in English, but the, the platform, the marque, like, uh, like the base of the, the, the base of the, the brand. Oh, he yeah. the brand. When yeah. the, 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 the look of the brand is right. good, all, and if in art, exactly. the product is good, the brand, the if it's the together. envelope of right. the product is good, the, the product is good. The exactly, package. the package is going to. I think. I think without without him, Mousetron will not be uh, will not have be there because he, he just designed all, all, all the all, all. right. Yeah. He gave it the look that it yeah, has. Yeah, today. all the look right from the labels to 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 the to the Facebook to the oh, internet okay. site. So, your marketing yeah. Yeah. so how many are involved in Mousetron apart from yourself, the brewer? The we, well, other, three. three together. Yeah, okay. three. Yes. Right. My other partners, Patrick, is working a bit, uh, a bit with us. It's more like a, he, like a he says more brewing ideas, you know. Ah, oh, right. You brew the beer, you brews the ideas, yeah. right? So two years ago, Mulstrom started. Yeah. Um, what does the name mean? We talked about it earlier, but just to let people know, what does where does the name come from? It's a, <clears throat> it's a contraction between, you know, uh, Mulstrom. It's a contraction uh, uh, with a, a maelstrom. It's like a... I think you said a twister. A twister, or a yeah. Or something. Something. yeah. A twister. Yeah. But the the root of a maelstrom is, a, is two words. It's a maal and strom. Yeah. It's an old Norway name Norwegian, for a yeah. twister in, a, in the sea. Okay. Um, the maal uh, root uh, I've gave... Uh, Malt in English right. means to grind, to to, to crush, to right. <clears throat> the same roots. And strom is, is the same roots of stream in English. Like right. it's like a bit water, of wave or right. water wave. Yeah. yeah. So it's a bit of a water way, uh, of a malt way, of a mine crushing side. <laughs> of a yeah, a tornado. <laughs> but it's also a name that we just it just found, sounds good. It just sounds good. <laughs> So we went with it, <laughs> ran with it. Okay, it's perfect. mostly the, 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 yeah because of that. Yeah. It's mostly the <laughs> name that we found was what's something good. Yeah, I like it. So then you had two partners, mm-hmm. but then you were the ones sort of doing the heavy lifting. You were brewing, running this, like we said, running the store, everything. Yeah. Okay. And when so then Laura came in like six, <coughs> six months, so you were doing it by yourself for six months. Yeah. On a very small system that we saw before. Oh, yeah, super yeah. small. <laughs> the very, 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 very small. small system. So then we were talking earlier that I heard you about you guys through I think it was basically just internet hype. People were like, Yo, you need to try this Maltstrom yeah. IXPL, the India Extra Pale Lager. And I was like, All right, well, cool. And I saw Bierra Tech in Montreal post on their Facebook that they had it. I'm, among mm-hmm. most of the other beers you have in the fridge, I was like sick, went straight down, bought them all, and I was like, oh my god, this is incredible. But it was very difficult to get hold of. And then <laughs> of you were course. like, and we asked you about that, and like, there's this a reason for that. <laughs> this is why. You know, some guys in brew at their own homes, yeah. they come and say, oh, mm. I have the same brew house at home. Yeah. I said, oh, okay. But we just distribute we- eight. But not the same, but almost the same quantity. Quantity? Yeah, quantity. Yeah, yeah. So we said, yeah, but we sell to like almost six. What's we're, we're brewing about uh, 20 hectoliters per month. So yeah. it's on that little on that system. Tiny system. Uh, the little yeah. system was really That's crazy. That's and crazy. I, I, yeah. At the end, That's yeah. why I was okay. trying. Like this. At the end, at the end, it was more, it was more like 30, 35. Wow. Easily. Right. So 
Hence the upgrade in the new uh, yeah. brewery now, which is oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. So you went from the size of that system, which is one point five one point five barrels. barrels two batches a day to ah, fill the uh, three barrel fermenter wow. yeah. that right. we're putting in our logging room with yeah. that, like it's a fridge. Yeah, it's, it's like fridge. It's all they, they were all sorry. They were all like a single wall uh, fermenters. Right. We're putting them in our fermenting room with at uh, 10 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a bit why we're lagering everything. Right. Right. Yeah. But it's also yeah our uh, personal taste. But it was a bit um, a technical problem. It's why a uh, Malstrom I only brew. Uh, um, Farmhouse, yeah, because they were fermenting at the at the at the, the low temperature. Uh, no, 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 the high, temp the, the high temperature. Oh, yeah. the, just I'm let sorry it. for my words. I hate yeah. that. Don't worry, man. Yeah. 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 The more beers we have, that will come right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe not. Or maybe yeah. not. At the uh, room temperature. Yeah. Room temperature. Okay. Yeah, because the farmhouse can can oh can, can getting high. Uh, yeah. Uh, so now, what's the capacity in there? Because it's like, like compared it's like to how many times three. bigger is the new one than the oh, old? Oh, significant! Are you saying oh. probably like like fifty? I, uh, I say, uh, uh, well, we've uh, we we've take from a from a little system. Now it's uh, seven point five barrels. So per, it's per still fermenter. No, no, in for, total. The, 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 no, 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 no. The, the brew house, the brew house is seven point five barrel. Uh, we've got two farm. Three fermenters who are uh, like 15 barrels. Mm, wow. So you guys have really stepped it up. Yeah, but yeah. it's still uh, the <laughs> most... It's, it's, it's always small. We're still really close to the bottom and really small. Yeah. So but it's we're still uh, one of the smallest the size of the original. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so a big step up. <laughs> yeah, it's a big step up, but we're still uh, one of 1. the smallest brewery in Quebec. Yeah. 30. <laughs> right, really? Yeah, no, really. But you're still pumping out a lot of volume, because I, I, I still feel like... You're pumping out volume because I, I feel like I see it more often now. Yeah. But I not bet. the IXPL because everywhere, where do I go all the time? I go to Peluso on Bobien. That's my new favorite spot. And uh, every time they have, they, they very, yes, two days ago, they had the IXPL. I was like, ah, right, sick. I was going to get it. I was like, oh, I'm coming here. Yeah, it's just so like, I was selling really so much. So it's always like difficult to get, but they generally have the ISL. And they have some of the other, like maybe, maybe this, the whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I, I feel like I'm seeing it a little more often, but still, hard you can't get. easily yeah. get the IXPL. Because whenever I say, I'm like, oh, they must it's have just got really it. really hard. Yeah. Yeah. And the, X, the IXPL is a, it's a long, it's, it's a long beer. It, 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 it takes me a long time to do to make it. So, uh, yeah, to make it. Yes, yeah, maybe what? like a, a month. It's a lager. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's me like a month. Mm -hmm. So. so it's not like a really straight IPA or an, uh, an IPA. Yeah. When you think it's ready, you say, oh, maybe, maybe one or two weeks more. Yeah, uh, every time. Well, guys, that I think we did pretty nice. good. Two hours, ten minutes. Two oh, yeah. hours. Did it feel yeah. like two hours? Two hours, ten minutes. Oh, yeah. Did it feel yeah. like it's yeah. so, uh, On And then taste the uh, rib stout. I'll do that after. Uh, <laughs> that's not that's for us. We got we'll what enjoy. we need. We'll enjoy that, guys. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out. Thank this you for having us. Nice. Really pleasure. appreciate it. You guys are it was awesome. a pleasure. Da. Oh, yeah. look at that double back. That was good. I'm getting, I'm getting good at that. Because you're, like, like you're trying to like, like yeah, like left hand. Left of you. I'm going right with you. One's over. One's under. Where can we find Maltstrom online? Where can people come? Facebook. Uh, Facebook is the most easiest way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. of course. Uh, we don't have an Instagram. Uh, you get Instagram. I want to get see Instagram. Pretty beer pictures yes. on Instagram. Yeah. Yes. I want to tag you. Uh, it's mostly on my uh, personal, own Instagram. personal Instagram. Personal yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that thumbs up, smack subscribe below, um, hit the notification bell so you know when the new videos are popped. <laughs> Yeah, yo, that's the notification bell. I'm uh, buying one of these. I yo, swear. dude, everyone's gonna be so mad at us. Yes, I know. Follow us on uh, social media at Beer with Podcast and check out the long form audio. So we've got two incredibly talented and attractive people.
people like these right here um, on uh, Apple Podcasts, everywhere else you can talk to media, review, rate, subscribe, you know the deal. And that is it, y'all. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Get it in ya. Get it in ya. Yeah. 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 yeah.